Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon TCG today. We have something pretty awesome and that is the 25th anniversary binder. <laughs> Not just a binder though, with the binder you actually get a 25th anniversary Pikachu. The old classic chonky boy looking uh, so cute. So every month I believe you'll be getting um, ooh, a generation of starter Pokemon. You can buy the pack. Which we have actually. Let's open this first. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. Oh, actually looks kind of nice. So these are actually jumbo cards, by the way. Like, there's my hand. Like, it's pretty much like the same size as my hand. It's it's pretty big. So yeah, every month, uh, we'll get like a brand new pack. So we got this pack. I think in the US you actually get like a really nice like pack in the UK. Um, this is available at Smiths, by the way. I'll get into that a little bit more. But it's just like in a um. You know, it's a little wrapper. Let's open this up. So, starting it off, we have Generation 8, Grookey, Sobble, and Score Bunny. I don't know what generation's next. I feel like they might be going, uh, counting backwards. But, uh, so we got Score Bunny. Oh, <laughs> Score Bunny. And Sobble. Like, I like the, the logo. It looks quite nice. But, we have the four Jumbo cards. The qualities, if I'm honest, not the best. Compared to, like, the Jumbo cards you get from, like... Like Kazan, for example, they are the same size, but this one feels a lot better than this. Considering this is a twenty, this like feels so flimsy. This feels so bad. Considering this is a twenty fifth anniversary um product, but for the twenty fifth anniversary, we got like uh, I think it was mythical Pokemon distributed every month. We got a plush. We got um a TCG set, and then this year we just get. <laughs> We just get this. We know there's a 25th anniversary set coming out the end of the year, which we don't know what's going to be in it, but I'm hoping it'll be good. But so far, the 25th anniversary has been a bit lackluster, but I guess that's probably all due to obviously COVID and stuff. But if you guys want to get this in the UK, um, you can go to Smith's. And I looked recently, at the time of recording this video, I don't know if it's going to be in stock now, but the binder is actually, this is £11 has uh, I think 30 pages in, which is quite nice, which is gonna be uh, more than enough to get, obviously this and all the other starters you'll get with um, the packs each month. But this pack, these big cards, it's only five pound. And they had so much in stock and I felt they're gonna have, they're gonna have plenty for everyone to get because if you spend 25 pound or more, you get this for free. Uh, I wish I knew that, I, <laughs> I bought this as soon as it went up in stock, I saw it, I was like, okay, it's not available yet. And as soon as it went up in stock, I was like, bye. And then as soon as I went to go pick it up, <laughs> I looked on the website, they got more. And I was like, oh, if you spend £25 or more, you get it for free. And um, yeah, I would have I done that. But they might do it for the ones next month and the month after and so on, so on. But I thought I'd do a little unboxing for you guys, just to, well, say unboxing, like a little pack opening, just to show you guys this and tell you about it, just in case you are wondering. I think in the UK it might be exclusive to Smith's. Um, I haven't seen it anywhere else. So uh, do check Smith's website. Obviously, lockdown ends on the 12th of April. So you can actually go into Smith's and maybe go and ask. And they might have some more in stock. But, like, it's it's nice. Like, the artwork's nice and stuff. But the quality, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's really, really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. The Pikachu one feels a little bit better. But yeah, these ones aren't so aren't so much. Well, that's now on the binder. There you go. I'm not sure if that's the right way. I'm not sure if it's Sobble Score Bunny or Score Bunny Sobble. Then you've got plenty of pages, actually. Maybe it's more than 30 pages. Actually, I guess if it is 30 pages, you do one on each side, isn't it? So that'll be 60 cards it can hold. Which is good because like these big jumbo cards, I have I've I'll be honest, been throwing them away. It used to be um the UK used to get the jumbo cards where the US got like figures. And I was like, oh, that sucks, man. I want the, uh, I want the jumbo, no, I want the figures, not the jumbo cards. So the jumbo cards, I just, I just threw. But I guess from now on, I can start actually keeping them. Well, the ones I like, Alakazam V, don't really care about. But I think I still have a, the Generations one, the Pikachu Charizard Blastoise Venusaur somewhere. Somewhere, I will find, I can put that in here. But the binder's quite nice. Like, it's, it's a good size and it's just, it's, I'm just happy we finally got something to, you know, look after these jumbo cards with because for a long time long 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 time they've just been you know hard to keep storage of but 
there you go. There is the 25th anniversary binder and cards. The binder looks really nice. It really does. I like the um the design they've gone for. Even though it's a 20th anniversary one, just with 2.5, it's still it's still really good. I wouldn't be surprised if they go 3 0 for the 30th anniversary, but it's just a decently designed logo. Like you don't really have to change it too much. But I think next video should be the Yu-Gi-Oh one, which will be nice. Hopefully pull that ghost red dark magician, but <laughs> we'll see. I'll catch you guys next time. At some point, I'm going to say this channel is going to be exploding with the videos when all my delay stuff just suddenly arrives. But right now, it's what I can get hold of. And <laughs> when it comes, it comes. And um, at this rate, yeah, we're going to be so far behind. And oh, boy. But I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.